Welcome! I'm Scatterbrain and this is Back to the Future the Game, episode 2 of episode 2. So what we are going to do is, I guess, go into our garage or our house. Last episode, Doc dropped us off and now I guess we gotta figure out what changed because of the, our time traveling. Because I assume something did. From Doc's estate sale. Right, okay, open the garage, maybe? I wonder if Biff finished the wax job on my 4x4. Well, let's check! Wonder if Biff finished the Ah, you're not gonna check. Alright, let's go in the side. Into the front door. That bug zapper's kind of annoying. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. It's your son Marty. It's Marty, Dad. Open up. Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. For doing what? I'm feeling about this. You've got a bad feeling about I a run out of town question the mark. Town. What are you talking about, Dad? Let me in. This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Suffered what? That didn't sound like any anything like your mother. Where's my brother and, and sister? And Linda. They left town years ago, which you would know if you really were Marty. Well, that's that's true, I guess. Yeah. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Of course. Uh. How I got my scar? I got a scar on my left knee. From what? Skateboarding down the courthouse steps when I was 12. Did that not happen? Right. Oh my lord. What are you waiting for, George? Let him in. Stupid what is going on? Marty! Oh my god, Dad! What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Ah, uh, Biff's here. Hi, Biff. Biff. I thought we told you to stay out of town, Shrek. What are you, just watching my house? Whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Uh, those Reasonably. guys. Right. The ancestors of the old thugs. <laughs> like you don't know Cliff and Riff. Yes, of course. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. No one talks like that. Run, I'm yes. Enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. When did Biff get Where did brothers? Where did these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. Yes, of course. It's called the birds and the bugs, but No, it's not, you idiot. Uh, duck. Ooh. Biff. Where, where are Let the cops? Leave before my dad calls the cops. The cops? We own the cops. Of course you do. The Tannen Gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. The fifth. They got connections all over the place. Obviously, not no as way. many connections as the other four, me? though. Is that a cap no. gun? Is that a squirt gun? Bang. <laughs> it's a lighter. Check it out. To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, JJ Valenti. Okay. John Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Okay, well apparently the Biff the the Tannins are crime fan are a crime family now. Uh <laughs> what about my um, what about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us, because she has a thing for losers. She could have had anyone of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Gimpy? So he's been Gimpy for a while? I got a question. Uh, I was run out of town. You run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? No, I don't you remember a thing. You made that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back, so the kid gloves can come off. This is it's very weird. What is going on here? Here's what I still don't understand. Well, how many more times? I, 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 can't you pick on somebody else? We do. We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Ah. Right. Right. Uh, jump. Here's what I still don't understand. <laughs> How long have you been coming down on my dad like this? I don't know. Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Okay, so uh, that still happened. Shut up. It's not funny. 
Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, dodge? Yes. Okay. Okay, but... Uh, what is... What the hell did yeah. you do to my dad? Yeah. Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, because you're going to need one in like three seconds. Okay. Ooh. Seriously? And another thing. How many more questions are they going to let you ask? <laughs> uh, call it truce? Oh, can't we bury the hatchet already? Bury. That's a better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Please don't. Hey. Oh, okay. Good. Thing. Great. Uh, what are what did I do to you? Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Yeah, I noticed. Back, the thing with the manure truck. The manure truck. Which one? Yeah, there was a couple of them actually. Dodge it out. Oh, now it's wondering. over here. Don't. Uh, jump. Oh. Ah, I'm all right. Don't. Dodge. Oh my gosh. One more question. How could this not a wimp? What happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid, of my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, there we go. You guys are idiots. All of you. Good job. Really good job. Pick up the gun. Piece of cake. Yeah. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Oh, so basically he never got arrested. Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Yeah, I understand that. But I've been doing it for a long time. Did you just ram your time machine into his limo? You noticed! Because, yeah, I, I noticed too. Okay. Something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Yeah, I noticed. It wasn't hard to figure out. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade. We've got to go Who robs an arcade? Tannen was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Let's Otherwise, do it. Could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Yeah, no one wants that. Punch it. Yeah, why didn't we already punch it? Why aren't we already back in 1931? So is he going to steal the time machine in 1931? I have a feeling that's going to happen. Seems like something that would happen at least. Okay. okay Let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kit Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Yeah, the hot babe. When she does... History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker? My girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen's speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Let's do guy. it. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Oh, looking spiffy. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. You may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Yeah, fair enough. I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. So yeah, he is still a wanted criminal. That's the thing. I, it's it's only been a couple months technically, so okay. I guess we could talk to Edna, because that seems like a lady I want to talk to. 
control console. What are you guys doing? Edna. Edna. Me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen Speakeasy. Am I right? Yes. But I'm going to say no. Uh, no? At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Thank you? Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. I don't want to. Me, 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 me. Now I really want to go. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. <laughs> what in heaven's name? Einstein, oh, what are you doing? Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown. Why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Fair enough. Hello, Harry. Harry? Mr. Callahan, what are you doing in that getup? Oh, jeez, he knows who I am. Okay, well, uh, uh, I'm going to a masquerade. Uh, I'm going to a masquerade uh, for charity. How exciting. You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Oh, water over the bridge. Water I'll under the bridge. And better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Einie and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Okay, so uh, they all remember me. Well, at least uh, he does. And, um... Yeah, this is this has gone very wrong right away. Let's get into the speakeasy as quickly as possible. I, I'm assuming kid's not going to recognize me because he's a stupid. That's my assumption. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What really? did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Okay, I hopefully I'm going to remember all that. All right, let's go knock on the door. Who died and made you boss? Oh, jeez. Uh I don't know. Obviously, it's not Bruce Springsteen because they have no idea who Bruce Springsteen is. Uh, am I? Am I? Take a hike, squirt. What? I don't know the answer to that question. Who died and made you boss. Uh, uh, ah. Uh, Doris. They won't know who Doris Day is either. The, the old, old gray, gray mare. mare? What? Okay, I can listen to more questions. Who told you about this place? Place to call to my travel agent. What's the big idea? Uh, stitch in time saves nine. <sighs> Settle down, mister. Why don't you wait outside and take a nap? Napkin, please. I've made a mess. I'm not sure I'm understanding these clues. I'm going to be honest. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Uh. What? Hieronymus Bosch? Bosch? What? I don't know. Who gave you the right to knock on my door? Ah, uh, 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 boss hog. Boss hog. No solicitors. No solicitors. Ah, terse and to the point. Who's your commanding officer? Commanding officer, uh, sir. Sir Galahad. Really. Is he as tall as he appears on screen? On screen, uh... Screens can be deceiving. Okay. I feel like they're being pretty blunt. I'm usually good Who at solving the problems. I am.
Am I? Am I? What will you do when I send you away? When I send you away? Wait till Wednesday? Wait till Wednesday? Where you born? All right, so it's a rhyming game. Livermore. Livermore. No. Okay, that was wrong. Who is the king of Siam? Okay, I know this one. The king of Siam is... Am I? Am I? What will you do if I let you inside? Drink a lot of booze? Uh... Let you inside... Radio for help. Row for... Row my boat. Let you inside. Row my boat. Siddle up to your boss. I don't... I don't know. Row my boat? It's not that. I can tell you that. I told you to come here. Come here. Um. Uh. I don't. Who told you to come here? I, I don't know. The old gray mare. This is a who hard said puzzle. You were worthy. Who said I was worthy? I don't. Is it still am, am I? I? No. Okay. I don't know the answers to these questions. Who said you were worthy? Could you repeat that? What will you do right. if I let what you What will inside? you do if I let you inside? This is the second question. Siddle up to your Siddle boss. Siddle up to your boss? Where do you live? Okay, that was right. Where do I live? Live... Livermore. Livermore. Welcome to El Cancer. Okay! It was word games, and for some reason, I just couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be answering to those questions. I figured it out, finally. It was just word games, and I just wasn't getting... They weren't... They weren't processing my head quite right. But, it's okay. We've gotten in to the dang thing, finally. What are you looking at? Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about. Am I right? I don't know what you're talking so about. Let's have a big L kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. All right. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. Okay. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. Right. So that's the cop who's supposed to be arresting him, I'm assuming. Okay, well, what to do, what to do. Let's, uh, let's go talk to Trixie. Try to, at least. She's no Pat Benatar, but not bad, not bad. No? Okay. I shouldn't bother her while she's singing. But I want to bother her while she's singing. Let's bother Cue Ball. Hey, go on, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Are you? Is that is that what you call it? Oh, okay. Let's go talk to these people. Hey, you. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Oh, look Your Eunice up, looks uh He's drunk. He's kind of cute. You yeah, think you Ernie. Can just waltz in here and make a play for another fella's girl? Yeah, why not? Yes. Maybe. Let's get in a fight. What are you gonna do about it, chicken? That's it. You're toast. This was smart. I, I, I'm okay with my decision, but that was not smart. Looks like you need to cool off for a few. Oh, did I get kicked out? Oh man. Oh no, he got kicked out. Okay. And that was probably part of the puzzle. Yeah, I, I don't I don't I don't know about that. Um Well, let's see. Okay, the only thing really we can do is Oh, we can we can talk to Trixie now. But let's Sorry, go back lady. to the alcove. I didn't mean to get your boyfriend kicked out of the club. Oh, water under the bridge. Right. You want to keep his seat warm? Not really. Uh thanks anyway. Yeah, probably not the best idea. Excuse me, are you Trixie Trotter? That's what it says on my dressing room door. And behind At you, apparently. It would if I had a dressing room. Right. Oh, What's a nice guy yeah. like you doing with a guy like Tannen? Yeah, what are you oh, doing? Kid ain't so bad. 
If he just takes some. Hey, Toots, any chance you could sing that can can number? The guys really love the way it shows off your uh, assets. Right. <gasps> Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> and quit lazing around. I ain't paying you to yak with the drunks. Okay. You ain't paying me at all, you bum. So, he's what not that bad of a again? guy, but he's not paying you. Uh, oh yeah, why do you stay with you were Kid? You me what a great guy Kid is. Yeah, I guess he is a pretty crummy boyfriend. But until my insurance policy checks out, I guess I'm stuck with him. Insurance? Yeah, yeah. explain. Look, I may not be the brightest bulb in the marquee, but even I know. You don't break up with a creep like Kid without something to keep him from going all crazy on you. Ah, yes, yes. The police. What's this insurance policy all about? Are you kidding? There's only one person I trust with my secrets. But I ain't seen him in weeks. You don't mean... Artie McFly. Artie McFly. You know him? Not as well as I thought. Before he took a powder, Artie was tutoring me in all sorts of stuff. Etiquette, philosophy, accountant. He's oh. a regular renaissance man. Renaissance, yes. Those smart guy professors pipes, see? Can I borrow this? Sure. You just let I strangers borrow your like favorite belongings? Card for weeks now, but Artie's the only one I trust to check my work. You can't be too careful when you're dealing with a maniac like Kid, you know. Oh, fair enough. Uh. I can find Arthur if for I you. arrange a meeting with Artie, could you use that insurance of yours? Use it? Heck, if what I'm sitting on pans out, I could send that bozo all the way to the big house. Oh. I'll see what I can do. All right, well, turn on Tanner. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nix on that. I ain't spilling nothing till I talk with Arthur Mc... Oh, F-L-Y. Fair enough. You know, Tan Kid Tannen probably can sp spell... All right, cool. Like a leg out there. Thanks. Anyway, she's supposed to turn on Kid Tannen tonight. Okay, Doc, if you say so. Right. All right. So I I need to figure out some way to Officer Parker. Yeah, I know you. You're Parker. Officer Danny Danny Parker, Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. Familiar. Yeah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. Hey, it looks like you've already had a few. Stop drinking. You be drinking so much on duty? Probably not. But this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. That's very true. I uh, so get, get Tannen. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides, okay. If I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. Yeah, okay, understandable. Uh, yeah, we, let's just... See you later, Dan. Yeah, I don't care I'll anymore. Here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Yeah, things aren't going well, are they? Uh, do I have to leave the speakeasy? Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh... I, I had a custom made. <laughs> costume yeah. shop at the mall. Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? Name's uh Harry Callahan. Right. I'm uh I'm one of you. I'm one of you guys. Don't you recognize me? No. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Okay. Yeah, let's let's go with this uh, ruse. It's a good idea. Prove it. You ain't leaving until you show me some bona fides. That's not how you pronounce that word. Okay. Well, I get what we're gonna do is we're gonna no 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 no. The gun. The gun, indeed. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Okay. Don't whoops. That was stupid. Blink. <laughs> It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Yeah. Looks like little Harry Callahan here really is with the Sacramento boys. You cool, they believe me. Theory. Yay. Like Have yourself a drink on the house. Matches, put down your gun. You look like a moron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point, you do. 
Alright guys, I think that's where I'm gonna end this one for today. I hope you guys enjoyed just picking up a little bit. You know, we're, I think we're gonna probably try and get a Kid Tan arrested next episode. They think of a gangster. That's good. I've always wanted to be a gangster. Not really. Sounds dangerous. But if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely don't forget to go down below, leave a like or a comment, let me know what you thought, and you can also, uh, you can also subscribe if you would like to, and there's some videos on the screen you can go check out, but other than that, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!